watching Chicago's very own WGN News with Larry Potash, Robin Baumgarten, Paul Conrad with weather, Aaron McElroy with traffic, Pat Tomasulo with sports, and Dean Richards with entertainment. This is WGN Morning News at 8. All right, time now for Around Town. Anna's learning all about sled hockey. Hey, Anna. I'm with the Great Lakes Adaptive Sports Association, and this is para hockey. So we all know traditional hockey. This one is on sleds. Maybe this one I could conquer. Maybe not. I'm here with Coach Fritz. Good morning, Coach. Good morning. So this is pretty cool. Who are we looking at? We're looking here at the Lake Forest College men's and women's team. Oh, cool. This is our team, which is the Glasser team. This is basically an adult youth team combined. All right, this is Nina. Nina's been playing for us. Yeah. Nina is modeling our sled. Yes, she is. Tell me about this. Well, this is a, for those people who are familiar with wheelchair basketball, okay. this is what this is. This is their legs. Uh -huh. We have a sled with blades underneath. If you'll tip it up, Nina, on the uh -huh. side, uh -huh. you'll see two blades underneath. Okay. That's what her contact with the ice is. Right. She's, she's strapped in. You can get back up. Uh -huh. She's strapped in across the waist so she doesn't fall out and her legs are strapped in. This is Most so. Of the people are disabled who uh -huh. don't have use for their legs. Perfect. Of their legs. So this is how we keep them safe. I love it. All right. When we come back, we will show you more from the Lake Forest College. We're going to hit the ice coming up around town. Anna's around town learning about sled hockey. There are no limitations when it comes to sports, or at least that's what it looks like when you take a look at para hockey. We are at Lake Forest College, and we're looking at the Great Lakes Adaptive Sports Association. There are two teams in there. A lot of those kids can't use their legs or are visually impaired, but still, they can dominate a hockey game. We will show you more and talk to you about the great events they have coming up from Lake Forest. Back to you for now. Time for around town. Anna's at the ice rink at Lake Forest College. Hey, Anna. Take a look at the ice. We all know regular hockey, traditional hockey, but this, this is sled hockey. Coach, what are we looking at? We are looking at disabled people playing able-bodied people, and you're seeing the disabled doing very, very well because they're used to this. They know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. But basically, you're watching hockey mm -hmm. on sleds. It's like people watching basketball in wheelchairs. Okay. It's the same thing. Their locomotion is with their sticks. Mm -hmm. The little sticks are their locomotion. There are picks on the end that help them motor down the ice. Then when they get around the puck, they use that. They turn the blade over. Mm -hmm. So now they're either passing or shooting, and they're playing like anybody else would. I was going to tell you, Coach Fritz, you said that the rules are the same. Yes, they are. Mm -hmm. The only one rule that's really different is that you're not allowed to T-bone anybody. Okay. And that is if you have a sled, you know, mm -hmm. straight ahead of you, uh -huh. you can't go right into it like you would a car. You know how mm -hmm. bad that would be. Right. That's the one thing. You can ride people off on a sled. <laughs> you can hit them as long as it's legal shoulder to shoulder. Mm -hmm. And the, the basic rules are exactly the same. All right. And all these folks are playing with an organization called Glossa. And I'm here with Cindy. Good morning, Cindy. Good morning. So tell folks what you guys do. Uh, Great Lakes Adapt. Sports Association. We provide sports and recreational mm -hmm. opportunities for children and adults, um, including our injured military mm -hmm. who have a physical or visual disability, and sled hockey is one of those um, sports. Mm -hmm. And we're excited to be here at Lake Forest College um, partnering with um, First Midwest Bank for our Sleds Are Coming event on February 12th from 4.30 to 6.30. So How can people participate in that event? Well, they can come out. Um, it's a free event. Um, there's going to be raffles, concession stands, um, lots of great action. We'll be putting um, the athletes from Lake Forest College. We'll be playing with our sled hockey athletes. Awesome event, so come on up. It's, um, again, on February, February 12th. 12th. All right, we have more information on our website. If you need more information, we'll be here all morning long at Lake Forest College. Back to you. Good morning, I'm Ana Belaval around town from Lake Forest College. From the wheelchair to the sled to the ice, we're checking out para hockey coming up around town. Time now for around town. Ana's playing sled hockey. Hey, Ana. I'm here with Charlie Paul, who plays hockey on a sled. He's 11 years old. Good morning, Charlie. Good morning, Anna. How long have you been playing? I've been playing for one year, this year only. Did you ever think you could play hockey? Uh, no. No? So what did you think when they told you, listen, you can sit on a sled and someone can push you? Uh, I, I thought that it was pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. So how does it work? Someone takes you out on the ice, how does it work? Somebody takes me out on the ice, mm -hmm. they practice What's your favorite part? I'm um, starting the game. Really? Why? Um, I think it's pretty fun to be 
Mm -hmm. That's cool. Charlie, okay. thank you so much. We're checking out para hockey from Lake Forest College coming up around town. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> it's time now for around town. Hey, Anna. Hey, Anna. <laughs> The Great Lakes Adaptive Sports Association is having an event on February 12th, and they count on the first Midwest Bank sponsorship. I'm here with Mark, who is actually a board member of Glassa. Good morning. Good morning. So tell me a little bit about your involvement. So I, I literally ran into another board member one day at uh, another event, and after having a couple conversations, uh, decided that we really need to get involved. Uh, spoke to the bank. The bank's decided to uh, back the event, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I've been so impressed with Glassa that I've joined the board myself. After. What impressed? you the most about these guys? Oh, geez. Uh, it, you know, there's so many different things, mm -hmm. and it's it's not just any one thing, but but everything that they do, the you know, um, uh, going out and being involved mm -hmm. and, and having the courage to do what they want to do mm -hmm. and not letting anything stop them, mm -hmm. I, I think that's I think it's fantastic. I love what Glass is doing, uh, and uh, I'm just happy and proud to be part of it. Perfect, Mark. Thank you so much. We'll be right back with more para hockey from Lake Forest College coming up. Time now for we around are town. learning all about sled. We are learning all about sled hockey today from Lake Forest College. I'm here with Chris, who's one of the dads of one of the athletes on the ice. Good morning, Chris. Good morning. Anna plays para hockey. What is Anna's condition? She was born with spina bifida. Mm -hmm. So she walks with crutches. Correct. Did you ever think you would see her play hockey? No, it's been, <laughs> been fantastic. How did you find out about this league, if you will? Uh, through Glassa, mm -hmm. which is here in Lake Forest. Mm -hmm. And so she's been involved in some of the activities with Glassa. Mm -hmm. And then she started ice hockey last year. It's her first team sport, mm -hmm. and she's really enjoyed the team aspect. That has to be game. something that when she was born, you probably thought this is something she won't be able to do. She won't enjoy sports or anything. This has to be wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Yeah. And Beyond our expectations. I know. I know. They say that the kids never stop smiling. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> I'm here with Portia from Lake Forest College. Good morning, Portia. Good morning. So what is the college's involvement with Glassa? Well, Glassa came to us a year ago and asked us to be involved with this event. So we've been involved with all of the logistics with the event on February the 12th. Mm -hmm. um, everything from organizing the athletes and the student leaders from Lake Forest College. In addition, some of our faculty and staff members will be in the sleds participating against the Glass of Falcons. So what's going to happen on February 12th? On February 12th, we'll have two exhibition uh, quarters of the game, and then we'll also have a Boomer's Ice Race. will be a mascot race mm -hmm. on the ice. We'll also have a puck toss as well as other raffles and events so that we can help raise some money for Glass and their so athletes. 430 to 630 here at the Lake Forest College Chris, thank you so much. Okay. Porsche, thank you.